My name is Roxanne Brathwaite. I'm a restorer of furniture, a reimaginer of vintage and antique furniture. I'm also a maker and a miniaturist. My love of furniture definitely goes back to my childhood. I had about three different doll houses and my love of it was really just styling it, making furniture and styling all these three properties that I owned. So uh, I, 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 you know, hours, hours, get lost for hours in there. So that really continued into adulthood when I, when it came to furniture, furnishing my own place, I used to just drag home curbside vines and fix it up. And then I finally stumbled upon um, Berkeley and Pam, who are uh, upholsters and furniture restorers. And uh, that's where the um, profession, <laughs> the professional part began. So uh, I, I became a, an apprentice and uh, yeah, uh, the rest is history. At first, I thought I would be an upholster and, and offer that service. And after working with Berkeley and Pam and just, uh, you know, <laughs> them dealing with uh, clients and, and I thought, I, I want to bring back the art into this. How can I do that? So I thought, you know what, I'm going to take vintage and antique furniture which I, which I happen to love, great bones, and I, and I just hate seeing them at the side of the road and people just forgetting about them. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna take those pieces and fix them up and uh, you know, just give it to a one of a kind artistic rebirth and, uh, and sell them. So that's really how Hollis Newton uh, began. Just prior to the lockdown uh, back in March 2020, I had seen an artist who was making miniatures, it was a textile artist, and she was making miniatures also and placing them in very unconventional spaces like in cupboards and bookshelves. And I thought, oh great, I can, I can do that. I don't need a big dollhouse or anything. Um, I don't know when I'm going to have the time to do that, but I'm going to do it. You know, I'll just put it on my radar. So I just kept making them and it was really just for myself. I wasn't going to post them on Instagram or anything. You know, the pandemic just kept dragging on <laughs> and I just kept making more. And then I finally had enough for a suite. So I, I put them in this bookshelf behind me and uh, I took some pictures. They weren't great pictures. I remember they were even a little bit blurry and I thought, oh, you know what? I'll, I'll just, I'm, I'm just gonna post some, I need content, you know, I'll put them up there. And the reception was just <laughs> so positive and I just got uh, enveloped into this miniature community. And I thought, you know, this is great. I, I love doing it. I didn't even know there was this miniature community. So I, you know, and I thought, if you guys love this, I'm really going to try, <laughs> you know, because I wasn't really trying. I was just keeping myself busy. Uh, I'm going to actually have a purpose and, and, and make some more. So uh, that's when I released Sweet 2 and then, uh, you know, everything else came after that, you know, and now I have an Etsy store and, uh, yeah, <laughs> it was just one, it's just a great pivot for me. Like I, I just, uh, I don't know if there was any other way I could have gotten to where I am now if it wasn't for, you know, unfortunately the pandemic. So I do use a lot of yarn in my uh, miniatures also. So, uh, and, and, you know, also before the, the lockdown in January, I took a weaving course and, uh, you know, I had bought a loom and everything and that was going to be my 2020 thing. 
<laughs> and uh, that quite didn't happen. But I do make miniature looms and I, I do some weaving in there. So that's kind of fun. When I release a suite, it really has nothing to do with the Etsy store. It's um, it's strictly for the art. Um, and after my first suite, I actually started to attach some kind of awareness uh, to each suite. So when I started my second suite, uh, I think I was working on just the first piece of uh, that suite. And I think I believe it was a fireplace and um you know the black lives matter protests uh, broke out uh, around the globe and you know it, it you know lots of anxiety and sadness and all those emotions uh, were going on at the time and i just channeled some of that into my my suite and uh i put three portraits up there Ahmad aubrey and um uh, brianna taylor and george floyd and so when I finished the suite and released it, uh, you know, a lot of the feedback I got was how contemplative it was. So I thought, okay, I'm, I'm on to something, you know, let me just uh, keep on that track. I did one for missing and murdered uh, Indigenous women. Um, the one that I'm working right now is uh, a biophilic um, suite. And then the one that I'm going to do after that is uh, for um, Alzheimer's Awareness Month. So these are just a couple of examples of things that uh, I actually found this at the antique market. Uh, one of my favorite vendors there, he brings out this little treasure drawer and it's just like a, a junk drawer of stuff, you know, maybe. And uh, I go through this all the time and I always find something. So this, I'm not, I don't think it's a jewelry box only because um, it doesn't have that slope that a jewelry box usually has. So I'm thinking I can make this into an ottoman. It's the right scale and everything. So uh, yeah, it has a hinge there. Perfect. And then um, he also had these wonderful cut stones. And I thought, oh, I can make a tabletop out of that. So uh, yeah. And uh, he had some broken watch pieces <laughs> that's an easy clock right there and uh i don't know if these are butter molds or what they are or candy molds um but um i'll make something out of it i'm not sure um maybe um some wall decor i don't know so uh yeah so i'm always looking at things from a different view As long as I'm being creative and I, I'm sticking to, you know, my vision and my truth, um, it's uh, it's 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 all good.